So after a crazy couple of months and having to replace his physio and physical trainer, Yannickson has turned to Novak Djokovic's old physical trainer and got him on board over the last couple of hours. Let's go have a look at the story because it's really interesting how this has all come about. This is what the article has to say. It says, Yannick Sinner, fresh from his victory at the US Open, should make official in the next few days the new members of his staff who will replace Umberto Ferrara and Giacomo Naldi. Marco Panici, Djokovic's former athletic trainer, should join the Italian tennis players team. And this has been reported by Gazzetta della Sport. So there you have it. Sinner going to the old Djokovic's camp. And of course, there's a lot of players or a lot of people that have been dismissed from Djokovic's camp this year, of course. I mean, we've got uh, Goran, he left before the uh, clay court season. And then, of course, over the last couple of months, he's lost his physical trainer. He's replaced them uh, with a whole new team. And now Sinner is trying to get a new physical trainer. It's worked out really well. But it'll be interesting to see how, what, I guess, what help Sinner will get from Djokovic's old physical trainer. I'm sure there's a lot of things that Panici taught Djokovic to make him as great as he was. So it'd be really keen to see if Sinner gets better with this addition to his team, but let me know down the cost below. Do you think this will make Sinner another level of unstoppable? I mean, he's been unstoppable on hard courts. Of course, Djokovic in previous seasons or previous decades has been unstoppable on hard courts. And this is just going to add another level to his game, potentially, especially physicality-wise, because we do know that Sinner over his career has struggled with that physical side of things, you know, with injuries and, and of course, getting sick a lot this year. But Djokovic's old physical trainer is now being hired by Yannick Sinner and his team.